previously. Gonna go see if it is all spru- oh, that freaking star, get out of my life. I'm gonna go see if it's all sprouted, or at least enough to fill in all the pots. Got a couple. I don't know what the rules are regarding Shiverfawn. And I don't know what the rules are regarding pots. Why some of them... Is the whole point of pots that it removes any needed um, thing? That it can grow despite no matter what? I don't know, but it is daytime. And that's handy because it allows us to go and have a little chat with our good friend Ivan. And hopefully he wants some uh, cap and tuna beards, otherwise we might be in trouble. Wow. There's a cursed fish swimming in the waters of the deepest corruption. It is forged of the cursed flames that spread from the fallen horrors that lurk down there. They say not even water can put out its fire and that it can burn forever. I think of some awesome things. I can think of some awesome things I can do with a fish like that. You gonna go get it for me? Or are you too chicken? Well, you know what? I ain't chicken. But at the same time, I ain't gonna go get it for you. Because I cannot be bothered. What I can actually be bothered with, though, is how do you guys feel about maybe, maybe, another little mini, mini fishing run? And then, at night time, we do a frost moon. How do you guys feel about that? How do you feel about that? So that's all we're going to need for that. And then, uh, for fishing, we'll need a fishing rod. Well, of course, take this sweet hat that we got. And... We'll take two crate potions. That's all we're doing. Just two crate potions and our fishing is done. Now, I'm doing this primarily, well, yeah, entirely in fact, so that we can get a golden crate. Because we want to get the hardy saddle. Basically, as soon as we get the hardy saddle, we don't ever need to open crates anymore. We don't need to farm for them. That's the only thing holding us back in terms of those. But it's still fine, because I, I enjoy fishing. I enjoy... Uh, now, this hat. There we go, we've got a pretty sweet hat on now. Hopefully that is going to help us when we fish. One thing we will need while we're fishing, and believe it or not, I know it's a crazy thought, but one thing we will need is some bait. <laughs> Otherwise, we can't do crap. Let's take fireflies once again because we have the most of them and they've got a decent fishing bait level thing. We should probably shut that. So yeah, we'll go fishing. Try to catch some crates. And I'm not going to complain about a single crate that we get because they all could potentially have good stuff in them. Adamantite ore and titanium ore and bars and stuff is always great to have. And types of bait is always great to have. And special types of potion is always great to have as well. Whoa, it's a long shot. But, yeah, golden crate, hardy saddle. That is one of the big things we're going to focus on. So, you know what? I'm going to actually take this opportunity to stick on some nice relaxing music. Have some of my drink, because my throat is becoming a little bit sore. And potentially catch some nice stuff, because we've got... A grand total of, what, six minutes? Three minutes per potion? That's great. We found a shrimp. Lovely.
And our creator potion has just run out, which is fine. And then I panicked because I accidentally clicked my mouse and thought I'd shut down my capture. But that's okay, so we've got seven regular crates and a single iron crate. Not a good haul at all. That's eight crates over a space of six minutes is really quite bad. But something I did get quite excited about is we caught a reaver shark. And I'm sure we've never got that before. I can always check. I think the Reaver Shark is something brand new. We've had a Rockfish, a Sawtooth Shark, and we've had a Swordfish, but we've never had a Reaver Shark. So let's have a look at this. So this is a pickaxe, it says. 23 melee damage, 21% critical strike chance, fast speed, very weak knockback. But look at that thing, that is... If you can catch that early enough, I imagine that would be quite good as a pickaxe. Let's get on here. Let's stick it in. So basically here we've got a... Uh, let's move those along. A pickaxe, a hammer, and a saw. All from uh, fishing. And a, and a weapon, I guess, in the form of a sword fish. Right, let's quickly empty our inventory out so we have room to open our chesties. Drop it on here. Through here. In here. Down here. And this guy is going to accept all of our fish. Back home. Did we only catch one type of fish? Edible fish? Was it just trout and nothing else? No, we got red snappers as well, didn't we? You buy this and nothing else. Because I almost sold you my tempest stuff again. Right, fishing rod and whatever goes away. That doesn't go in there, though. This goes in here. Quick stack it. You idiot. You Flaming idiot. You flaming moron. That goes there. These go here. These I need. This I want. This I want. Is that everything? Fishing rod. Is that everything? Okay. I'm running out of time now. I need to go to the Frost Moon. I don't have time to mess around doing this. Right. Fishing Rod also goes... Ah! Flush Catcher does go in there. So it's like an old rod. That's fine. Okay. Inventory's looking fine. However, what time is it? It is... 4.45, so it's probably time we went over to our arena to get ready for this. Oh, no. Oh, we censored that nearly, nearly, nearly. Right, uh, we, yeah, want to be in here. Because we want to uh, do the Frost Moon, of course. I was really thrown by the fact that I nearly gave away my Let's Build. Whew. Right, we want to be up on here. And, yeah, we don't need to fish out a Duke fish on, because that is not what we're doing. There we go. And then we're going to sit inside this, and it's going to get slightly annoying with those noises, but we want to equip this in place of our wings, because we don't fly. This in place of... In fact, no, we could probably do these the opposite. There we go. Now, while we're here, getting getting attacked constantly, let's say we open up some crates. Why not? Let's see what we get out of here. We get uh, genuine bait and climbing claws. Bait, I'll take. Or a calcamore times 20 is pretty good. Genuine bait, good. Other stuff's crap. Obsidian skin, uh, that's all crap. Titanium bars and iron skin potions are good. Titanium ore is good. Tungsten bars is... Uh, Iron Crate has uh, the Falcon Blade again. So we've got some stuff to sell, but otherwise, uh, we you know, we've got some pretty decent stuff out of that. Look, six genuine bit, 30% power, and three titanium bars. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. I think I may accidentally drink an Iron Skin Potion when I try to uh, use all my stuff at once. 
Oh, well, so you know the drill when it comes to the frost moon. I'm going to sit in here. Sit in here. I'm going to swing my pumpkin sword, hitting the crabs and the mimics. That then summons pumpkins to home in on the enemies, wiping out the enemies. Meanwhile, I'll also have these just tearing the ever-loving crap out of anything that dares to show its face here. So anything that's not killed by pumpkins will be hit by my spears at some point. Either above or below, as well as lather. The crabs and the mimics are here in this to injure me constantly. And therefore, by them injuring me, the enemies can injure me. The crabs, of course, being super weak. I'd rather get take one damage from a crab than, you know, like 100 damage from a frost queen or something. And the reason I use crabs and mimics rather than anything else is they don't drop anything to fill my inventory up.
Right, so the battle is over. There is still one of these down here, an Everscreen. We'll try our best to get rid of that. Unfortunately, we cannot fly, so that's slightly more annoying than it needed to be. We'll uh, quickly put on our stuff again so we can fly. We'll sweep through, pick up what we can find. I didn't see any... Uh, which McCollum's drop, Rendier's bells, but you know what, at the end of the day, we get what we get, and what we got was bugger all, and we can't complain. Let's go home. <laughs>